readers, welcome back to Camp Read A Lot, the place where we read books, sing songs, and keep the learning going all summer long. My name is Miss Lara. Can you tell me your name? I'm so grateful that you made it back today. Today is Friday, which means we have lots of fun things planned, but we're going to end our week with our book study. So, are you ready to sing our good morning song and get the day started? Come on, Miss Maria, let's sing together. Good morning, good morning, it's a sunshine kind of day. Come join Miss Laura for some learning and some play. Will we sing a song? Of course we will. Make our brain strong, like super strong. So come along. Yes, come on, friends, for some learning and some play. Hello, Jello, what's up, Buttercup? We have so much to do. I'm glad that you are up. I am. I'm so glad that you woke up this morning and are wiping the sleep from your eyes. Soon, summer will be over, and many of you will go back to school. Yay! I'll still be with you reading books and singing songs. So right now, we're going to go through our schedule of the day. So we're going to check in with Miss Maria and look at all the treasures she brought today. And I'm excited to share them with you. Then we're going to move on to our foundational skill. Today, we're going to be doing some shared writing. And our focus is going to be around the topic of school, which is something that you're going to be hearing a lot about as summer ends. And then I have a fun art project for you. We're going to use milk to make a painting. Not just any milk, but sweetened condensed milk. Ooh, yum! And you're going to see how it leaves a sheen. It's going to be so nice. So right now, let's get our morning started with a feeling song. You know, it's so important for us to check in on how we feel every day. So I'm going to sit down for this song, but if you want to stand up and dance around, I would love that. Okay, let me put my music on and we'll start. Remember our song, if you're happy and you know it, sing. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your feet will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're mad and you know it, stomp your feet. I'm mad. If you're mad and you know it, stomp your feet. I'm mad. If you're mad and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're mad and you know it, stomp your feet. I'm mad. If you're sad and you know it, say boo-hoo, boo-hoo. If you're sad and you know it, say boo-hoo, boo-hoo. If you're sad and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're sad and you know it, say boo-hoo, boo-hoo. Confused and you know it, say I don't know. Confused and you know it, say, I don't know, I don't know. Confused and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're confused and you know it, say, I don't know, I don't know. If you're excited and you know it, say, hooray, hooray. If you're excited and you know it, say, hooray, hooray. Excited and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're excited and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. Last time. You know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. I always like to end our song on a happy note. But remember, any feeling you feel is okay, as long as you learn to express it any way that you know how. All right, right now, I think I hear, is it Miss Ma Ooh, there's the doorbell. Miss Maria left me a letter. Now let's read. Remember, we start at the left and slide to the right. So let's do our song. This is the left, this is the right. When we read, we start the left and slide to the right. Dear Miss Lara, are there cookies, cupcakes, donuts, or brownies at school? Ooh, I would love it if those were at school, but it would not be healthy to eat those all the time, would it? 
I am going to start kindergarten soon and need to know if my favorite treats will be there. Do you know anything about school? Love our friend the mouse. Oh, I know lots of things about school. I've gone to school for lots of years. Now, if you're just starting kindergarten, that means you're going to go to a classroom and there's going to be a cafeteria with lots of delicious food and chocolate milk and vegetables and fruits. And sometimes there will be treats too. Now, I think we have a book here that talks about school. Let me see what Miss Maria left me for clues. First, we're gonna do our letter clue. This one's gonna look familiar to you. Let's see, our letter is going to be big line down, another big line, another big line. That could be the letter N, but we're gonna add another big line to make the letter M. Hmm, M was our clue last time. I wonder if our two books are gonna be the same in some way. Hmm. She also left a lunch pail, a lunch pail. Why would you use a lunch pail? What does that have to do with our book? And then she left a football? Hmm, how strange. Looks like there's a couple more clues in here. Oh, these are my goggles, my protective gear that I wear when I do science experiments. I wonder if our book is going to have science in it. Then, Oh, these are some building blocks. I use, I stack them and I make tall towers. Could our book have something to do with building? And look, a pencil. This pencil looks nibbled on and used. Hmm, who would nibble and use a pencil like this? So we have letter M, science goggles, a football, a lunch pail, building blocks, and a pencil. What could our book be about? Let's check. Here's our book from Miss Maria. It's da 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 da. If you take a mouse to school. Ooh, mouse starts with the letter M. I wonder if that's what Miss Maria was talking about. This book is by our author of the week, Laura Numeroff. The author is the one who writes the words. It's illustrated by Felicia Bond. Felicia Bond drew the pictures. Now let's take a look inside. The first page says, if you take a mouse to school, I can see the little mouse is cuddled in its little bed and there's a huge alarm clock next to him. Oh. If you take a mouse to school, so here he is getting ready with his comb and his one very long hair. He'll ask you for your lunchbox. When you give him your lunchbox, he'll want a sandwich. And it looks like he's gonna make peanut butter and jelly. He'll also want a snack for later. Then he'll need a notebook and some pencils. He'll probably want to share your backpack too. So look, there he is in the backpack. He has a big yo-yo. When you get to school, he'll put his things in your locker and take a look around. So you can see in their school, they sit down in chairs and tables and they read books. He might do a little math and spell a word or two. He'll even try a science experiment. And I can tell he's wearing his protective glasses that we had in our clue, making a volcano. He'll need a little help to wash up. You'll have to take him to the bathroom. Oh no, once he's nice and clean, he'll be ready for his lunch. On the way to the lunchroom, he'll see some building blocks. He'll build a little mouse house. I bet you he could build a whole mansion. And he'll make some furniture out of clay. Look, he made a little sofa, a little bookshelf. Then he'll need some books for his bookshelf. He'll start by writing one of his own, so he'll need lots of paper. He'll probably use up all your pencils. Oh, that would explain why it was used and nibbled on, the pencil in our clue basket. When he's finished, he'll want to read his book to you. Then he'll want to take it home, so he'll put it in your lunchbox and tuck it in a safe place. 
When the bell rings, he'll run out to wait for the bus. While he's waiting, he'll play a quick game of soccer. Then he'll ask you to shoot a few baskets. Now, boys and girls, some people go to school on a school bus, and some people get dropped off by their parents. Let's see, he does a little skateboarding. He's going around. When he stops to catch his breath, he'll want to eat his snack, so he'll ask for your lunchbox. And chances are, if he asks you for your lunchbox, you'll have to take him to, where do you think he needs to go? Back to school. There he is in his lunchbox eating a cookie, getting ready for school. I hope that you enjoyed this book and all the books we read about Laura Numeroff. Now there were a couple of books that we didn't get to read by this author that you might want to check out at your local library. We have If You Give a Moose a Muffin, If You Give a Pig a Party, There's a, a, I think we read Dog a Donut, but that's another good one to revisit. So make sure you check out more books by this author and read, read, read all the books around you. Now right now we're going to move on to an activity that's going to help you learn to read too, and that's writing. When you're able to write and process the words that you're reading, they really get in your brain. So that's what we're going to do together. Now, in order to get close and for me to be able to write, I'm going to kneel down right here. And you're going to see how I write. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my pen, which is a marker, and put the little cap on the back. That's very important when you get to school because teachers get so sad when the markers run dry. They have little funerals for the markers do, do, when they die. So don't let them go dry. Now our topic is school. What kinds of things do you think you'll find at school? Hmm. Well, I know. I think I'll find some friends at school. So I'm going to draw some friends. So I'm going to draw, let's see. I want a girl, maybe she's wearing a dress and has fingers. How many fingers? Five, of course. She'll have eyes, a nose, a mouth, ears. Let's give her some pigtails. This is going to be my friend. And I'm going to feel so happy with my friend, so I'm going to draw a happy face. These are my friends. You'll find friends at school, so let's write the word friends. And, and, and then a s at the end, what letter makes the s oh, S, friends, you'll find friends at school. What other things might you find at school? Hmm, have you ever been to a school and they have play structures outside, like swings and different things that you can play with? That's right, you might get to play at school. So I'm gonna draw it right up here. And my favorite thing to play with is the swings. So I'm gonna make a huge swing here. Oh, that is my favorite. Maybe put a tree right by the swing so I get lots of shade. And maybe it has some flowers on it. So, ooh, maybe like our book, I'll draw a ball. At school, we'll get to play. Let's write the word play. Ready? P, P, L, A, play. Play. We'll get to play at school. What else might we do at school? In our book, the mouse did something. Oh, that's right. They learned about things. So we might learn about these things called letters. A, B, C's. And we might learn about numbers too. Let's write that one, two, three. We might even get to measure things with a ruler. Here's my ruler. So we're gonna learn to read and we're gonna learn some math. So let's write those words, read. R-E-A-D-D -e at the end, read and math. M-A-D. Now, boys and girls, I've been writing a long time, so I know that two letters put together make the th th 
sound, and that's T and H. Read and math. Hmm, what else might they do? I know what every school has. I have to include it here. A teacher, that's right. You are going to have a teacher. Let's get some things here, a nose and a mouth and a pretty dress. Now it might be a boy teacher or a girl teacher, but I guarantee you they will be very nice. We gotta give them little bags under the eyes because teachers are tired, aren't they? <laughs> All right, and maybe she has a delicious apple. There's a teacher, and she will love you, or he will love you as soon as you come into the classroom. So let's write the word teacher. Ready? T e a, uh, and again, one of those pesky sounds with two letters put together. Ch ch ch, and er, teacher. So I hope that if you start hearing about school and you going to school, that you remember school has lots of good things. You get to play, you have friends, you get to learn how to read and maybe some math, and you'll have a teacher that loves you. Now right now, we're gonna do a project that you might also get to do at school. We're gonna do some art. So let's go into our project place. So here we go. Now to do this activity with me, boys and girls, you're going to need some milk, but not just the milk that you find in the fridge, although you could use that milk. I'm using sweetened condensed milk. What that is, it's milk that with all the water taken out, so it's thick and gooey. And when you paint with it, it leaves a very shiny kind of art piece. So I have some sweetened condensed milk here in different cups and I'm going to add food coloring. So you'll need condensed milk, food coloring, water, paintbrush, and paper. So let's make our different colors. So I have red. Let's put some blue in here. I have some blue here, and we'll mix that up in just a bit. And then maybe I'll add blue here too. And we'll mix up some colors. And then we'll add yellow. Now, have you heard that there was a day when all the colors quit and disappeared? It's true, it's in a book. You have to read it there. It's called The Day the Crayons Quit. Now, if you get a chance, read that one. Can you imagine a world with no color? Oof, I wouldn't wanna live in that world. Okay, let's mix it up and see how we're doing with these colors. So we have our red and this is gonna be our Ooh, blue, beautiful blue. And then I'm just gonna dip it in here and put it over here. And this one's gonna be our, ooh, I think I made brown, ooey gooey brown. Again, I'm gonna clean it off so I can wipe it here. And then I made ooh, a bright orange. And that's it, we'll use those colors. So what shall I paint? Shall I do a landscape? In our book, the very first one we read, our friend the mouse painted a picture of their family. So maybe I'll do that. I have a little daughter. So maybe I'll start painting her. Ooh, there she is. Paint a picture of her. Now again, when you paint, you'll notice right away that the texture of this is thicker and if you paint, you kind of have to dip lots of different times to make it really saturated, meaning the color is really there. Okay, there she is. There's my daughter. She's gonna have brown, longish hair there, and maybe some legs and arms. And then I have a husband, but I think I'm gonna make my husband blue because that's his favorite color. That's my family there. I'm gonna make him blue. I'm gonna have to tell him when he gets off of work, I made you blue today in my art print. You were a blue husband. So there he is. Now you can paint anything you want. I just decided I'm gonna paint my family like in the book. Maybe he wants arms and legs here. And then, oh, I have somebody else in my family that's very important to me. I have my dog. My dog's name is Luna. 
and she is a golden retriever, so I'm going to do some orange for Luna. She sheds a lot. There's fur everywhere in my house. Okay, she has a round body. Then I'm going to make a head for her <laughs> and some legs. Can I tell you that Luna had to go to the doctor because she was gaining too much weight? We needed to make sure we put her on a dog diet. <laughs> so I drew her a little bit chunky. All right, and here's some ears. All right, maybe I'll paint her in. So there's my family. Now I get to add a little more detail. Now again, if you're drawing a picture, you can draw anything you want. I just decided, you know, I'm gonna draw my family today, just like in the book. And I'm going to draw some hearts all the way around because I love my family. Yeah. Even my not-so-thin dog, Luna. She's still my favorite. She's fluffy and sweet. And she barks at nothing. <laughs> all right. Here's some more hearts all the way around. Let's do one more. All right, one more. All right, I think that is my painting. This is what I chose to paint today. It is a picture of my family. I have my dog and a heart and my daughter and my husband. Lots of different hearts because I love them. I hope that you try this paint technique at home. Normally, I don't like to use food to make art, but if you're like me, parents, you have uh, some condensed milk in your pantry that you might have thought you used for a project or you only used a little bit, this is a great way to use it with children because it dries super shiny and leaves a great texture. All right, boys and girls, looks like it's time to sing our goodbye song, and then I'll let you know what we're going to do next week. Are you ready? Let's sing together. A is for amazing, that's what you are. B is for brave, that will carry you far. C is for caring and community. Ooh, and D is for determined and be the best you can be. E is for empathy, caring for all. F is for friends, that'll catch you when you fall. G is for grateful for everything around. And H is for hopeful, there's more good to be found. I is for imagine all the fun things you can do. J is for joyful, how I feel when I'm with you. K is for kind to people and animals too. And L is for love, put it in all that you do. M is for mindful, be present every day. N is for nice words in everything you say. O is for original, always be you. And P is for persevere until you make it through. Q is for quiet, those bad thoughts. R is for remember all the greatness that you've got. S is for strong, body and mind. And T is for talent, why not make yours being kind? U is for unique, special and loved. V is for victorious, always rise above. W is for worthy and wonderful too. And X, don't X out those mistakes, they're what make you you. Y is for yes, we're getting to the end of this rhyme. And that's the alphabet. I'll see you next time. All right, boys and girls, that's right. I'll see you next time. Now, there's a couple of things we need to review before I say goodbye to the week and to you. Did you guess the secret word? I'll give you the letters if you didn't get to see them. Write them down quickly. It's H U G. S. You might have to ask a grown-up, what word does that spell? H-U-G-S. Hmm. So I hope that you come back next week and I'll show you a new secret word and we'll learn whole new stories. Next week we're going to focus more on school. So you might start hearing that summer is coming to an end 
and you might start having to go to either a daycare or a school or another family or friend that helps take care of you and you might start learning about these things called letters and numbers so we're going to learn all about what school means and all the things that you have to look forward to as summer is starting to come to an end and we get into the new school year all right boys and girls so miss laura is going to send you a big squeeze <laughs> now my students always used to say miss laura you squeeze us too hard we're not lemons are you trying to make us lemonade no no and then a big smooch Mwah! slobbery and remind you to be a scientist use your five senses to explore the world around you and of course read a book and use your imagination every single day until next week boys and girls goodbye